Hello, BookTube. Some of you may have noticed that your worst gin-soaked nightmares have finally come... I mean, <laughs> I mean, your fondest BookTube desires have come true, and Dalton Gentry has made a triumphant return to Strip Cover Lit. Uh, and just the other day, they did a video in which they made two announcements, and I wanted to make a response video to that and second those announcements, or I think the kids call it signal boosting. Uh... And the first one they announced, their first of their two announcements, is they're going to do a read-along in June. Now, we're doing a read-along in June on this channel. We're reading the Iliad, uh, which is the archetypal, the ur-text for all bro fiction, <laughs> for all dude bro lit. Uh, but in true, in true strip cover lit fashion in June, they're doing a read-along of the current and all-time champion of dude bro lit, which is Chuck Palahniuk. They're doing Adjustment Day, uh, which is his new book. comes out in June, I think. No, it came out, came out in May, and it's a, it's a his new release, and what they're going to do is read, they're going to break the novel up into thirds. So, the first third of it, you know, to page 100 and something or other, uh, on the first weekend of June, and then the second third, and then the final third, and then on the final week, their final video, they're going to do four uh, segments, and the final video they do will be a review of the book. Uh, but a read-along until then. And I wanted to... I wanted to uh, to mention it and to to uh, hope that they'll allow me to join in. I would love to do that. I'd love to make a video every week on this book. Uh, and the second announcement that they made was the raucous return of the Hot and Sticky Summer Novel Writing Challenge, uh, which they've done, I think, only once before, or maybe I've missed one. But one way or another, I joined in on the first one and had a blast. Uh, their idea is a variation on NaNoWriMo, uh, at the National Novel Writing Month is formidable. You're doing almost 2,000 words a day in order to get a 50,000 word manuscript done in one month. Uh, and the hot and sticky summer novel writing challenge is uh, more protracted and more uh, congenial. It's 450 words a day for June, July, August, and September. The end goal being the same, to get a very good, what Adrian calls a very good start on a uh, the manuscript of a novel, 50,000 words, in at the end of September. Uh, I tried it the one time and loved it. I wrote, I, did, I intentionally decided, in the spirit of the Script Cover Lit channel, I intentionally decided to make my first hot and sticky novel uh, something well outside my comfort zone. And when I was thinking about possibilities for that, I thought, well, one of the things that's well outside your comfort zone is math. So I wrote a novel about Isaac Newton's connection to math, his relationship with math. It's called Hers the Convergence. And it, be it becomes obvious in the course of the book that not only is, does Isaac Newton have a very personal relationship with math, but he has an erotic one. And that math is real, a tangible thing for him, something that he can actually use in the world. It was fun. It was a lot of fun to do. I'm not sure how successful it was. It, because one of the linchpins of its success would have been me understanding anything about Newton's mathematics. I actually reread my copy of the Principia, and it was as baffling to me <laughs> in, in preparation for hers, the conversions, as it was the first time I read it. Uh, but the the variation here on uh, on the hot and sticky no summer novel writing challenge is one that I, I I'm not I don't think in their announcement video the variation was ever actually explained. Uh, in the video, Adrian gives Dalton his subject for the hot and sticky summer novel writing challenge. But the subject is not a novel. It's a memoir. Adrian cha challenges Dalton to write his own A Movable Feast, for, to, a, a la Hemingway. Uh, I don't know how that's quite going to work, uh, it, but uh, one way or another, it has inspired me. I would like to join in this time around again, if, they're, if they'll have me. I would like to join in again with the hot and stucky, sticky uh, summer novel writing challenge. And I'd like to do the same thing. A, a lightly fictionalized memoir along the lines of a movable feast. Uh, I think that even with all my other writing obligations, I can spare 450 words a day. And the point I want to make in this video is that so can you. 450 words is a journal entry. You do that anyway every day. It's That's not hard to do. Uh, the key, as with NaNoWriMo, only here it's a little bit, it's much more forgiving, is to know what you want to write ahead of time. 450 words is nothing if you know what you want to write ahead of time. It's only it's only agony if you're dragging it out of the netherworld, <laughs> which is why I always tell people, uh, 
do your plotting now for NaNoWriMo. You should already know what you want to write for NaNoWriMo, and you should be working on plot breakdowns so that when the time comes, you can just gallop. Uh, but I want to talk. I haven't actually come up with my idea for NaNoWriMo yet. But one way or another, soon, the summer is the time to do that. Don't do it in October. But we'll have plenty of NaNoWriMo videos. This is a hot, uh, hot and sticky video. Uh, just as my way of encouraging you all uh, to join in. I don't know how many of you I can encourage <laughs> to join in on a read-along of this book because it's new and that always makes me feel self-conscious. You know, the I, I think about all those worried videos that, are, that periodically come out on BookTube, people wondering, is BookTube commercial? Is it daunting? Is it is it uh, a closed door to people who can't just walk into a bookstore and buy a book or get a galley copy or wait a hundred people thick or two hundred people thick in a library for a copy that's on reserve and then only have two weeks to do it when the read-along is a month long. I understand all that and I, I'm very sensitive to it uh, because this is that's not what booktube is about so I'm, I'm hesitant there. If you have a copy, if you're a fan of this author, if you're already going to read it, I wholeheartedly urge you to do to participate in their read along that it sounds like so much fun and they're going to do the whole social media thing on on Twitter and whatnot so uh, you'll have plenty of updates even if they don't do videos uh, and I very much want to encourage you to join the hot and sticky challenge 450 words a day throughout the summer be writing always is a great rule of thumb anyway for any kind of fiction or nonfiction creativity but community writing challenge writing where you can where you can follow a hashtag where you can check in every week, wonderful. It's the it's the joy of NaNoWriMo, and here it's stretched out over the whole summer. So I just wanted to make a, a quick video. I'll leave a link to their video down below uh, because you gotta look at Dalton uh, going full hipster. <laughs> it's worth the price of admission right there. Uh, but I I just wanted to make a video uh, pointing it out, uh, offering to join in. I'd very much like to join in on both of them, uh, and urging the rest of you to do so as well. So I will I'll wrap this up for now and I'll see you soon. Thank you book two.